Hi, this is Dr. Jin Sung and welcome back to Thyroid Management Success Secrets number 14. Vitamin D. You always seem to hear in the news that there's some new vitamin to consider or some new deficiency to consider. But when it comes to Hashimoto's thyroiditis or autoimmune thyroid, it's very important that patients are taking vitamin D to help their immune system. I have patients coming into the office all the time and say, oh, I saw this on Dr. Oz. What about this and what about that? But vitamin D is one of the crucial aspects of helping patients with thyroid conditions. Modern diets are lacking in vitamin D rich foods. And if you live here in the Northeast, vitamin deficiency is very prevalent. What are vitamin D rich foods you ask? What about liver, liver organ meats, lard, many forms of seafood, butter, egg yolks? Remember what I said about eating eggs for breakfast, how it is important to manage your blood sugar in the morning. Sunlight is another important factor and source of vitamin D, but you should never take vitamin D without having your vitamin D levels tested properly, specifically the 25 OH and the 125 to OH. Most doctors will only test the 25, but it's very important to check both levels when your vitamin D levels are not going up despite supplementation. This way you are limiting the guesswork. You could be low in vitamin D or on the low side of normal. Either, find, either finding should constitute a different recommended dosage. Why is vitamin D so important? Vitamin D deficiency is associated with many, many autoimmune conditions, including Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Frankly, autoimmune rates have been skyrocketing in the past 20 years, which correlates with decreased levels of vitamin D in the general population. Adequate vitamin D levels help to keep the immune system in balance so it doesn't swing out of control into an autoimmune disease. When it comes to Hashimoto's thyroiditis, the problem with vitamin D deficiency are made worse by genetics. There are studies that show that more than 90% of the people with an autoimmune thyroid or Hashimoto's thyroiditis has a genetic defect affecting their ability to process vitamin D. Therefore, many people, especially those people who have higher needs of vitamin D to maintain health, even if your blood tests show sufficient vitamin D levels, you should have your levels checked and modul modulated appropriately by a functional medicine practitioner. In most cases, patients will come into my office and their vitamin D levels will be on the low side of normal or on the low side. In order for a Hashimoto's or a thyroiditis patient to have uh, proper immune function, their vitamin D level should be somewhere in the 80 to 100 range. But again, you must check your levels in order to accurately dose your vitamin D because there is something called a vitamin D toxicity. Again, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results.